Hey, how's it going? I'm Adam. Today we're going to be doing a rough country lift on the D41 Nissan Frontier, the third gen as some people will call it. And uh, we got a rainy day today. Not much else we could be doing anyways. Uh, so you guys just sit back. We're going to run you through this like we try to do on all our tutorial videos. We're going to edit out all the, the slush, so to say. We're going to get right to the point. Go ahead and like the video and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, we've got the vehicle jacked up here and we got the wheel removed. You can figure out how to do that on your own. But to remove this cotter pin, all right, don't lose this. You will reuse that. Breaker bar is your friend. Well, that ain't working, so ball joint separator time. Done. Okay, right here, 17 millimeter. Yeah, so we're gonna have to basically jack the other side of the truck up. We've only got one side lifted. We're gonna have to jack this side up to get the other sway bar in link off. And then we can rotate. We can rotate the sway bar this way so we can have clearance to get the bolt out. Just so. Boom. Okay, pull our bolt out. There you go. And we are just simply going to go to our Rough Country box here. And we should have two spacer looking things. They're gonna have some nuts on here. We will remove these. And then the old nuts from, I say old, but the, the ones you had are gonna be the ones that we stick in here to retighten this. Stick her back in the bottom. Okay. Put your floor jack down here. And catch it right on the bottom. Your lower control arm. You lift this up. You can finger tighten these nuts down. And then come back and only do maybe a, a full turn or so with a wrench. You're not fighting yourself in other words. We are now going to attach our knuckle here back to our ball joint. And again, we are going to cheat and use our floor jack here to push up on this for us. Okay. You gotta do anything crazy, just bend it enough that it won't come out. The sway bar in length that still needs to be attached, but obviously we had to rotate this. So we're gonna have to go on the other side and complete that before we can actually say we're done with the front. We gotta take a quick break for a beer and to celebrate our Braves. Go Braves, baby. All right, so today we're going to be working with Coors Edge. Hey man, I'm just trying to hang with you guys and uh, not be fat and piece of crap. So whatever you're drinking, hey, here's to you, cheers. See here we've got our plate on that. And so now we just gotta rotate this sway bar up. So we can... Got our truck jacked up. Now we've got access to just two bolts here. Yeah. 
Same's gonna be for our rough country. We're gonna have the bend on the inside, the straight plate on the outside. So these are almost like a bushing. Reuse these bushings. You can pull them right off. They're gonna fit right there, both of these. And then there's actually one still on. Yours might come out together. There are two pieces. Well, ours, we're still, we're still in there. Slide that back in there. Washer. And our nut. Three, two, one. Oh. Got it. Man, I hope if you're watching at this point, you succeeded in lifting your truck. Good for you. And if you're running into some issues, it's okay. We, we all run into that. Just put, you, put whatever you're dealing with in the comments. And uh, us or somebody in the Nissan Frontier community will be glad to help you. Happens all the time on these videos. And again, if you have any tricks or some something that makes this go easier or faster, please throw that in the comments below as well. We always welcome that. And uh, here's another opportunity to like this video. We appreciate that. There's your subscription reminder. Go ahead and give us your subscription. And then um, we're pretty much done. We are gonna show you some before and after videos. And a uh, little spoiler, I did wash the truck on the after section. So movie tricked you, I guess. Let's go ahead and get to that. So the two biggest reasons we went with the two inch instead of the six is the price is much cheaper. And the time it takes to install the two inch is significantly less than the six inch. Um, and that's a big factor for us because time is money, basically. So the stock uh, SV trim, I'm not sure about the Pro 4X, um, but the stock Frontier, you're looking at about a hand width or maybe five inches of a wheel gap. And, you know, there actually was a third thing that played a role, and that was me being able to get my ladder in and out of the bed of the truck. Um, so aesthetics is really all we were looking for. And, man, the two-inch lift does wonders. It doesn't sound like it's that significant, but it looks phenomenal. It's subtle and it rides just like it did prior to the lift. Now for the wheel gap comparison, you see you've got much more than a hand width. Roughly it's about a seven or an eight inch wheel gap now. Kind of depends on where on the tire you measure. But this thing looks great with the stock wheels. It's gonna look even better when we get some aftermarket wheels and tires for it. Overall, we are very impressed. Thank you a lot, Rough Country. All right, well, that's it for us. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.